And that is very, very sketchy, man. I do not like that. You can see how spiral it is. And it becomes like a broken little thing. It has no strength in the back end. You can see it. I'm gonna put a light through it so you can see it. It does not rain in Phoenix in Arizona, but it's summertime. Must be 117 degrees outside. How is it raining? What? For those of y'all that don't know, I stay in Phoenix, Arizona, man. And for us to get rain, it's kind of like, it's impossible. Like, it's literally impossible to get rain. Well, it's not impossible. It rains sometimes, but I don't never seen it in the summertime. And I've been here like five years now, and it doesn't rain like it does right now. But it just looks like it's literally just pouring down like crazy. Like flash flood warning everywhere. Like last time when I was coming home, I literally couldn't get through the main entrance, and so I had to go use the back road. It's like, what in the world is going on? You know, climate is changing tremendously. Does that scare you guys? Or you don't care? All right, bet. You just care about my hair, huh? All right. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today. It's a new day, hey, and we got a what? We got a fighter. Let's go. Get it. All right, guys. I got me a um, light Red Bull with no sugar. I barely take a few sips, and that's it. Sometimes the, the fact that I look at this wakes me up. <laughs> it's crazy. The smell of coffee wakes me up. Like, I don't need to drink coffee. The smell of coffee can wake me up. Or if I get, like, a, you know, a drink from Starbucks or something like that. The fact that I got the drink is enough for me to wake up. And it's crazy. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's psychology, man. It's just something in your head. Like, you believe you're, you're sleepy or whatever. And the moment that you get that thing that wakes you up, I feel like your body tells your mind like, or your mind tells your body like, oh, you about to get what you was looking for. This is gonna wake you up for sure. And it just like automatically start waking up. So it's kind of weird, the psychology behind it. I heard a story where like they trained a dog. Every time they ring a bell, basically he gets the food. Every time he rings a bell, he gets the food. And then finally, he just rang the bell without the food and then the dog starts salivating because he heard that bell. So, is that how it works with coffee too? The fact that I smell it, I just get up? Is, are you guys like that or is it just me? Cheers though. Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my frizzy locks, man. Uh, for some reason my hair is getting frizzy at the bottom of it. And I kind of figured out what it is. But I wanted to show you guys what has been going on with my hair. And it's weird, man. I really do not like it. So currently... I have started to notice and more and more uh, about my dreadlocks just being very, very, very spiral and frizzy at the end. And I remember when I used to wash my hair, when I had a, you know, this is, uh, I'm talking about pre-bleach. When I used to just wash my hair, I used to have a bunch of spirals going on. But now it's just like, it just seems like the, nor the norm of it, like it's just normal to my hair to have these kind of frizz. Comment down below and let me know if you guys do and how you guys able to handle it so I can learn from you guys also how you were able to handle it. But the other thing is that I noticed is, you know, my spiral uh, a locks. And this is this happened really after the two strand twist, but it never stays there this long. And I'm believing it's because it is dry and it's already uh, a skinny draw lock. So it doesn't have any weight to hold it down like the other ones to, to stay there. And as you notice, the skinny part of any of the dreadlocks curl up the same way too, just like how this is. So that is super weird. That is something that I do not like. It is something that I will thrive to fix and uh, to make better. But it's, it's not a lot, but it's just feeling like this one. It looks like it's just broken, you know. And it could be, you know, the weight of uh, water, the weight of... You know things like that that really pulled it out and then now it really can't stand by itself because it's just so thin and uh, it's not locked up with the rest of it it's almost looked like you know a curly hair on the end of it on some of the ends of it and that is very weird i think i'm gonna end up blunting my tip i have fixed the issue before like this but to consistently see it there has to be a reason and so oh this one right here you can see 
can see how spiral it is. Almost like, you know, it's a curly hair and not a drill lock. That's literally what it looks like. And for me to have this, a lot of this, is just a no-go, man. I used to love them, but not the more I see them, the more it scares me because like few washes later, this thing will be literally out of here just like the other one I showed you guys, like this one. And it becomes like a broken little thing. And of course, if I end up bleaching this thing one more time, it will literally pop out. And I feel like this one about to come out too. Yeah, see? It has no strength in the back end. You can see it. We'll put a light through it so you can see it. See, like the, the light goes through perfectly almost. And that is very, very sketchy, man. I do not like that. I want to blunt my tips. Uh, and I, I think I'm going to make a video on how to do that just by itself because I don't want to, you know, bother you guys having to watch like a whole 20 minute video. I'd rather you guys watch this and then comment down below your thoughts are, what I should do with this so that we can fix it, you know what I mean? And of course, I blunted my tip before. I uh, made a video on it, but I don't like the fact that it came out. I don't know if it's the same one, but you know, I don't like the fact that it came out and I have to fold it, not taking away the length, you know? Uh, when you fold it and blunt it, it takes away the length. And so I'm gonna try to figure out a different way to do this and so that I can fix the rest of it. The other one I said is this curliness. And it looks cute, like, you know, you look at it like, wow, that's, that's amazing. You have like a unique dread in your dreadlocks. And to me, it doesn't look like a healthy dread uh, when I see, you know, a bunch of different dreadlocks. But at the same time, um, you know, I haven't over bleached my hair or anything like that. My hair hasn't fallen out for any of those reasons. And so that gives me, that gives me, you know, the encouragement and also the, uh, the gumption to say that, you know, it could be fixed, you know, it should be fixed. And um, yeah, like I'm not scared or anything like that. Uh, I just do not like it. I do not enjoy looking at my dreadlocks looking like that, especially this curly thing just messing me up. Just, you just see all the dreadlocks falling down and you see this curly one. And then I don't like the ones that are like, look like they're broken, doing the L shape. And of course it comes with the uh, consequence with bleaching your dreadlocks, but at the same time, you know, there should be a way to fix these things. And I think I have the answer through crochet needle. So on the next video, I think I'm gonna end up, you know, working on those things because like I said, I really don't like seeing these things. I don't really don't enjoy it. Uh, it's not it's not something that uh, fascinates me to see my drill lock looking like that. But comment down below if you ever dealt with that or like frizzy locks or anything around that to where you're like, that agitates you. Like what agitates you about your locks that you want to fix? Is it frizzy locks? Is it curliness on the bottom? Is it that they're not locking up? Is it the length, the thickness, or the thinness of it? What is it that, that bothers you to basically to have your dry locks be fixed? And so that, you know, if I see the comments below, I could probably make videos for each of those subjects and help you guys out. But besides that, I wanted to actually mention to you guys that uh, Pineapple World finally dropped a video. So go check that out. Yesterday we dropped a video that says, what in the world is Pineapple World? If you guys wanted to know why we uh, chose the name Pineapple to represent a journey, uh, you'd be able to find the meaning on there. And also we have a Facebook group to where you share your journey, whether it is curly hair, straight hair, uh, what, whatever type of hair you had on your lock journey, on your hair growth journey, on your hair length journey, on your getting to healthy hair journey, you know what I mean? And so it is for everybody, nobody's discriminated, no matter what color you are, what ethnicity you are, where you're from, you can share your journey there and uh, you know, you can keep your profile private also as you share it because nobody needs to really befriend you unless they want to friend you. But besides that, really it's a group of, a private group to where people share their journeys there. So if you guys want to join there, make sure you, you guys click down below to go there. Like I said on the next video, I will be fixing this end before 
or you know, I bleach my hair again. Not bleach my hair, uh, but dye my hair. I need to dye a new color because we hit 30K and I wanna just say thank you guys uh, for those that supported and loved on me uh, till I hit to this journey, to this goal. My next goal is 40K and 50K and you know, 60K and then 100K. Uh, I think my biggest next goal is 50K and then after that will be 100K. And I'm really appreciative of you guys trying to get me there with your ability to subscribe has given me this joy and happiness. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig?